hi my people welcome back again to today's video if you're new here welcome my name is sandra and i'm your host here if you're a returning viewer my ogs what's up welcome back again to today's video i'm so happy to chat with you guys again i really want to thank everybody for the love that was shown me on my last video thank you so much the offer of love the prayer everything that you guys have done you know thank you i'm so grateful i'm healing i'm recovering just all right and if you have not already noticed we have hit 2000 youtube subscribers okay honestly it may be small but you mean so much to me especially here on this channel because my og viewers you know the struggle you know the hard work that has gone into this channel we have built it from ground and we are taking it all the way to the top so it means so much to me i'm so happy 2000 of you that rock with me here on this channel thank you so much for those of you that subscribe thank you for those of you that like comment you know you do all these things and my video is visible to other people on youtube thank you as well and for those of you that have forgotten to subscribe and you're yet to subscribe just hit the subscribe button right now as we're talking so that you do not forget again also another interesting thing that has been happening is that um last week we had a premiere episode of a talk show that i created on twitter for now we do it only on twitter um it's called moms unscripted and on that talk show we talk about all the things affecting the motherhood community all the trending and hot topics in the motherhood community we started our premiere episode last week thursday with the topic CS vaginal bed and epidural. I know I'd already discussed that topic here on this channel, but in this case, it was more in depth. We even had a doctor on the show. We had other moms, they shared their experience. Moms that had vaginal bed, CS and the likes. It was so, so interesting. So we're going to be having another one next week, Thursday. So we have it every other Thursday. We are going to be having another one next week, Thursday. I'm going to put up my Twitter account somewhere on the screen and, um, you, you should consider following me so that we can you know learn from these experiences of other moms and also other seasoned speakers that we will bring up on the show to you know speak so um for now we're just going to be running it on twitter as time goes on and as it progresses we are going to you know find a way to maybe put it on instagram and every other social media platform but for right now we just have the show on twitter so yes this is my twitter handle do not forget to follow me on twitter and next week thursday i'm excited for the topic we are going to be treating as well that's going to be a surprise that's for me to know and for you to find out anyway without further ado let us get right into the video of today as the caption says these are the things that nobody prepared me sandra for after delivery you guys know that here on this channel i my experiences and my content i share my story based on the things that i have experienced um so if anything i mention here on this video you personally have not experienced it i have experienced it and i also want you more than the ones the things that um i did not mention that you have experienced you can type it below in the comment section and um so that other moms can learn from it upcoming moms can learn from it and watch out for all of these things the first and most common thing that nobody prepared me for post delivery is the fact that you're still going to look pregnant. In fact, you're still going to look and feel very pregnant even after you put to bed. Some people look pregnant even up till three to six months post up, um, post delivery rather. So that's a normal thing, I assume. You know, because the pregnancy hormones are still in your system, the pregnancy hormones are still in your body, so you are still going to look very pregnant after delivery. So if you see anybody on social media that is coming to tell you 10 days post delivery, snatch back, I got my body, my I got my body back, please. It's either they went under the knife, it's either they went under the knife, or there's so much edit that has gone into those pictures and those videos so please do not be pressured it is normal it is very normal to still look very pregnant i remember when i had put to bed and i was still looking still i was still looking swollen my stomach was still big i remember i was even asking my mom and saying we oh, making sure there's no other baby inside my stomach because i remember after we had come home i was still feeling very pregnant i was still looking very pregnant but these things they take time so you would still look pregnant you still feel pregnant it's going to take a while for these hormones the the um hormones and 
you know, all those pregnancy stuff to leave your body gradually. They are going to leave eventually, but um, it's going to take a while. So nothing post-delivery is automatic. You are, you are going to give it time. You are going to give it time to heal. So yes, it is very normal. If you just put to bed, you just had a baby and you're thinking, oh my God, why am I still looking like this? Why is my nose still fat? For those of you that had fat nose, you know, fat, um, fat hands and legs, why is my leg still fat? Why is my nose still fat? Give it time, babes, okay? It's going to come around. Your body is going to come around. For some, it's faster. For others, it takes longer. Our bodies have, you know, different healing timelines. So if, if your own is taking a little longer than Mrs. Lagbaja's own, there is nothing wrong with you. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. You're going to be okay. You're going to be good. For some of us, I believe I was part of the lucky ones. I was able to shed my, I, I think my body cannot retain fat. I was able to shed baby weight. I did not even put on as much weight while I was pregnant. But although I was weighing, I weighed 83 as at the time I put it, gave it to my son. And after two weeks, I was back to my regular weight, which was 68. So for people like me, my body is on the faster healing side. If your body is not on the faster healing side, there's nothing wrong with you. Just give yourself time, give yourself grace. You know, don't go and be tying your stomach. If you had a cesarean section, don't go and want to kill yourself. You want to tie your stomach because I must get my snatch. My body is snatch. Look at Mrs. Lagbaja. Her own body has come down. Why has my own body not come down? Mrs. Lagbaja's healing is different from your own healing. And again, Mrs. Lagbaja's body self did not come down. She's only packaging for you. Let's be real. She's only packaging for you. So don't, don't let anybody you know oppress you or pressure you into rushing your body to heal i know some people after they put to bed they will come be drinking all sorts of things whether it's good for the baby or it's good for breastfeeding it's not good for breastfeeding all they are concerned about is how they want to snap back you know get their body back snatched forgetting that those things you see on instagram are heavily edited some are wearing waist trainers some have even gone under the knife right after delivery please give yourself grace give your body allow your body to heal according to its timeline so looking pregnant and feeling pregnant just after delivery is very normal there is nothing to worry about following that point will also be your complexion for some people pregnancy takes so much pigment from them and they um, pregnant pregnancy dumps so much pigment on them and it gets so dark really fair people get dark you know um, dark people get the, even darker just give yourself time i also suffered i suffered the whole neck um pigmentation thing my stomach had so much pigment there was so much pigment on my stomach as well um which other part of my body yes i think it was my neck and my stomach and my face but now i'm seven months post delivery my body is not even back my my complexion is not even back to you know what it was before i put to bed but it is a lot better than it was you know when i was pregnant so i'm giving myself time carrying a baby nursing life is so much work so you need to give yourself time don't rush yourself give yourself allow your body time to um heal also just a side note please don't use bleaching cream especially even when you are pregnant and when you have just put to bed don't use bleaching cream don't use all these seven days action cream because you want your body to come back immediately because mrs lagbaja's body has come back immediately please don't use bleaching cream you will only spoil the ph balance of your skin don't use bleaching cream your body is going through a process your body is trying to come back to how it was before you you got pregnant your body would definitely your color would definitely come back to what it used to be so imagine now you using bleaching cream because you want to be light so when your body now comes back to its color you know it's not going to make sense it's not going to be a good look so just allow yourself allow your body drop that bleaching cream put it down that bleaching cream that is in your skincare cat remove it you don't need it your body will heal by itself allow your body to do its thing when you allow your body to do its thing the, the result is always flawless it's always beautiful please do not be under any rush do not be under any pressure it is not easy to nurse life it is not easy to carry life now another thing this one i don't know if it has happened to other people but for me it happened to me brothers Abby sisters now in this case i was constipated for at least six weeks i was constipated passing poop felt like the labor all over again i'm i swear to god please I, I maybe i'm crazy if this happened to you too let me know in the comment section passing poop to pass poop like this i'll be crying i'll be crying i don't know how it is for people that had their babies vaginally i had a cesarean 
passing poop when i'm trying to pass poop it felt like my wound was opening i'll be holding my wound like this to pass poop and i'll be screaming and shouting i was so constipated at least i remember that that thing happened for at least almost three months post-op whenever i feel like passing poop god i'll be praying god please don't let this poop catch me don't let this poop catch me because passing poop i will be shouting i'll be screaming please if i'm not mad please let me know in the comment section mommies if this happened to you let me know in the comment section so that because i mean it's looking like i'm, I'm saying what i don't know it was so difficult to pass poop it was so difficult to pass poop now we're okay now although I'm not even back fully because me personally, I'm someone that my bowel, my, my bowel movement is impeccable. Impe nothing touches it. If I, I, in fact, I pass poop morning, afternoon, and night, I always clear out. But now, maybe I'll go a whole day and not even pass poop. So that's why I say I'm even still healing. I'm seeing the process of healing because this is not my body that I know. Passing poop was difficult though. So if you are a pregnant woman, you are a first time mom, or you know, you're just watching this for curiosity. Just know that this part of, part of the things, it's so difficult to pass poop. I don't know of using laxative, so I don't know. I personally didn't use laxative for personal reasons because I was, you know, I was um, breastfeeding. So I didn't know what those laxatives were going to do to my you know, my baby. So um, I didn't use laxative. So it was so difficult to pass poop. And the poop was so tough, so strong. Coming out was a problem. I'm just like remembering again and it's just I'm having PTSD all over again. Now the next thing for me personally, the timeline of my period changed. I don't know about other people. The timeline of my period actually changed. Before I got pregnant and before I put to bed, my period comes for two days. My period comes today. If it comes today, I'll see it today, tomorrow. And then by the next day, I will not see my period again. But right now, my period comes for five days. I really don't know what that is about. For some people, um, I don't know how it changes their menstrual cycle. For some people, they, they, if you used to have a painful menstruation, after giving birth, you will not have a painful menstruation again. I used to have a painful menstruation. Even after putting to bed, my menstruation is still painful. I really don't know. That's my own. So let me know what your, your own experience is in the comment section. But for me, it prolongs my period. Now I see my period for five days. I don't know if it's going to go back to... I don't know if it's going to go back to... What's it called now? If it's going to go back to the normal two days or this will be it going forward. And also another thing, for some people, for some people, after um, they don't even... As far as you are breastfeeding, they don't see their period. My own period came out. In fact, for some people, so even if you are not breastfeeding, at least your period will stay till maybe six months before it comes out. My own period came out on the day that I completed six weeks post up. My period came out. So people are, you know, people are different. I knew, I remember when my period came out, my mother was like, ah, be careful, no, be careful. This one, your period has come out again. Any mistake now, you're going to get pregnant again. No? For some people, they enjoy it. In fact, for like a whole year. I know some people that do exclusive breastfeeding and their period comes out immediately. I know some people that do not do exclusive breastfeeding and their period stays for like a year before it comes out. So bodies are different, which takes me back to my point. Don't kill yourself. Your body is different from... Mrs. Lagbaja's body. Another thing. Hey, I lost my hair, brothers and sisters. You guys remember, I told you people now. I lost hair. You know, they say, eh, after you put to bed, just go and make your hair. Don't be touching it so that, eh, you know, so that you will not lose hair. I was making my hair. I remember I made the weaving. The day I was removing the weaving, all my front hair, me that has so much hair, all my front hair left. That's gone. So I just went and cut my hair. I lost it till now. That front hair has not grown. The hair that I cut has started growing out. The front hair is still like that. I don't know if it's going to come back. Please let me know in the comment section if eventually that my front hair that I lost, if I'm going to get it back. I I had hair loss postpartum. Another thing that nobody prepared me for was how painful breastfeeding was going to be. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Breastfeeding is painful ah it is painful i remember that there was a time my nipple was even sore there was wound in my nipple and my mother said keep giving him the breast as he's sucking it that's the only way the thing will heal imagine 
breast a wound being in your nipple and your child sucking your breast our oh, breastfeeding was painful i didn't i didn't i never thought that breastfeeding would be very painful now it's not painful again oh don't be scared it's not painful the whole way you know it's not painful the whole way at least for the first one two months breastfeeding is going to be really painful but it gets easier right now breastfeeding is no longer painful but i never thought or i never expected that i was breastfeeding was going to be painful nobody said nothing I didn't hear nothing. So now I'm telling you, breastfeeding will be painful. So when it's paining, you don't be scared. There's nothing wrong with your breast. It's normal. Another thing now that happened to me personally is that I will just be staying and I'll feel sad. I don't know if it's postpartum depression. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a clinical psychologist. So I cannot diagnose myself. But I'll just be staying like this. I'll just feel sad and start crying. No reason. I'll just start crying. And you know, I'll now be wanting to complain in my mind, like God, what kind of life is this? I'm tired, I'm overwhelmed. But sometimes when I want to complain, another mind will tell me, ah, shh, sip your mouth, oh, don't complain. This thing that you have, a lot of people are begging for it, a lot of people are praying for it. And I will just keep quiet and be dying in that, you know, that pain, that sadness that I'm feeling. Please, I want to tell you here today on this channel, mamas, if you feel sad, own it with your chest. It is normal. Two things can be true. Yes, there are people looking for children. You know, there are people wanting to be in this position that you are. And yes, you are overwhelmed. You are sad. You need space. Two things can be true. So anytime you feel sad and you want to complain, you're like, ah, don't complain. No, please own your sadness. Me, any day I feel sad, I own my sadness. I say, oh God, today is not just it. I'm feeling so sad. I want my life back before I was a mother. Feel it, own it. That's the only way to move past that emotion that you're feeling. Feel it and own it. I remember I was talking to one of my mom friends. She called me, was complaining. Sandra, ah, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. And I told her, you're not alone. It happens to the best of us. I feel the same way too. And I'm sure you watching this thing, you have those down days. You have those days where you just want to leave your house, leave your husband, leave your children, and just run away to where no one knows you. It is normal. It is okay to feel like that. Anytime you feel like that, own it. Own it. Feel it so that it leaves you. So um, these are the things post delivery that nobody prepared me for. I saw it by myself. It was a rude awakening when these things were happening to me. So now I'm bringing it to your attention. So in case you stumble on this video, these things do happen. It is normal. You're not sick. You're doing a great job. You're not a bad mom. So let me know in the comment section what are the things you experienced post delivery that no one prepared you for. What are the things that happened after you had given birth that nobody prepared you for? Let me know in the comment section. Comment down below. Other moms will read this comment section and learn from it. That brings us to the end of this video. Um, if you have watched up to this point, consider subscribing to this channel and until my next upload, guys. Be well.